Welcome back to Sunday League to Legend here on Football Manager 21. This time we are not as advertised. We were planning to go to Darlington in the FA Vars second round, but something very strange happened. We were drawn against Stockport County in the Emirates FA Cup first round uh, back at the Lancashire FA County ground, our temporary home while Fox Lane is uh, filled with more seats, even more. Uh, the chairman wants more capacity, and that's what he's getting. So, I thought it was a good idea to present us against some top opposition. As you can see, Stockport are currently managed by Simon Francis. It seems that Jim Gannon's services has been dispensed with. Uh, he's gone to Oldham, uh, where actually... He's doing really well. Uh, he's got Oldham into League One uh, as champions from League Two last season, uh, which is where Stockport were. They got themselves up into uh, the Football League, spent one season uh, there before relegation. Uh, I have to say, though, they did garner 46 points uh, on the board, uh, so relegated really despite uh, some good uh, results. As they already go ahead, Eddie Carrington uh, with the goal. Great play by Grayson to set that one up. So with inside five minutes, we are down 1-0 against Stockport. I will tell you that that game against Darlington in the FA Vars, we won 3-0, but only after extra time. Uh, it was 0-0 all the way through 90 minutes until finally uh, we saw off uh, Darlow. Uh, so we are into the next round there as the Albion mount an attack here. And it's a good effort by Connor Comer. I wouldn't call it an absolute sitter, uh, but Cissé here with the corner. Toza going to uh, recycle possession. Uh, so yes, as I was saying, this is our first game, uh, sorry, Stockport's first game in the FA Cup this season. Already we've played five games as Nick Conway scores a fantastic goal. A belter of a goal uh, from outside the edge of the area there. We are sinking without a trace against the Vanarama National League side. We have already played five games in the FA Cup. Started out with Brighouse in the second preliminary round. AFC Dunstable next in the first qualifying round. And then Hednesford, uh, Tunbridge and Grantham. Uh, so we had to play in total four different uh, qualifying grounds as Carrington goes through us like a hot knife through butter. Not great, but sort of expected against decent opposition. Uh, Darlington, I have to say, were Vanarama National League North side, so to get the win against them by three goes to nil uh, gave us a little bit of confidence. Uh, we're actually playing a pretty decent side here. Normally in the Cups, I rotate the hell out of the team as Matt Chris goes through, it's a good save. Uh, Stockport do have their club captain, Ryan Crowsdale, on the bench. Uh, so he's not even starting. Uh, showing perhaps uh, Simon Francis. Uh, of course, uh, currently, is he Bournemouth or Brighton? One of the two. Uh, his confidence in his uh, team as the ball goes through to Roberts. All the way, good throw out from him. Uh, and Coyne right at the other end, getting a chance. I mean, that was like us playing in level 10. Good save by Can as well, our own goalkeeper. This is the first of three uh, cup games for us in very quick succession. Uh, so we play rugby in the Velocity Trophy. Uh, next, followed by Merstam uh, in the FA Trophy. Uh, third round so plenty uh, of games to come they're in, coming thick and fast at the minute we are just in December so you can imagine uh, things happening really quickly in uh, the world of Sunday League to Legend not happening so quickly for us in an attacking sense here against County can with the ball just a little dink out field well here is matt chris if we can get something out of him it's a penalty connor comer 
Uh, about to stick this one away. Go on, son. Get us back on the score sheet here. And that's exactly what he does. His 10th of the season. And it is one from the penalty spot. Look at that. Practically side netting. Well played, Connor Coma. Our record goal scorer back at the club this season. Following a season and a half, I'd say. Season and three quarters with North Ferryby. Uh, Roberts now with the goal kick. But uh, it's coming back his way. Langley cuts the ball out. Former AFC filed captain is Josh Langley. Cissé forward. Matt Chris with the uh, cute effort there. But Roberts uh, up to the challenge. Two minutes of added time here. I don't think we've uh, embarrassed ourselves by any stretch of the imagination. Our XG is actually better than counties, uh, which perhaps shows their uh, accuracy in getting the ball on target. I'm disappointed to see both Matt Chris and Connor Coma on a uh, full charge here. Uh, although Coma's just slipped down, so perhaps he's done a bit of running in the first two minutes of this second half. Surprised to see the players not happy uh, as I went with James Dodds. Uh, suggestion there at half time. Uh, Dodsey, always doing well for me. Uh, always looked after us, uh, but they want to take off Ben Tozer. Mm, I'm going to wait a couple of minutes before doing that, I think. Uh, let's see, though, if that uh, proves to be costly for us. As now Tom Dawson goes forward. Former Holker Old Boys stand out uh, and can, and a bit of uh, no man's land there. Thankfully, got a hand to the ball. Uh, Josh Ashman is going to come on uh, in place of Tozer. So him and Langley really uh, have been. Uh, and there's the other one, see? Yeah, they have been playing a lot of football for us. I did say before, normally we do rotate things around for the Cups because we do have quite a consistent lineup uh, in terms of league football. Uh, County, by the way, have surpassed us in terms of XG. Uh, as we get the uh, usual second suggestion to do something that I've already done once. Not sure why that happens. Does it happen to anybody else? Or is it just me? Uh, Can uh, with another save there. And now Comas through. Can he slot his second? He can indeed. It's a dink over the goalkeeper. And Ted Can, the goalkeeper, at ours... Uh, provided the assist. Big ball downfield. Uh, it's missed by the county defence, isn't it? Coma through. Little chip over. Nice cheeky little dink uh, over Alfie Roberts uh, in the county goal. Suddenly, we're back to 3-2. Uh, I will say that if we do lose this, which as we are, uh, as it stands, we are doing, that will be our first loss uh, of the season. We've gone unbeaten up to this stage in all competitions. Uh, just going to bring off uh, Matt Chris for Salmon here. They are pretty similar uh, in stature, those two strikers. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, we are unbeaten again. So this would be like the third season in succession. Uh, certainly we've done it in league football as Dawson goes through. Uh, but it is picked up by the county defence. Now Lynch forward. And that is a goal. It's Cissé and it's 3-3. Albion restore parity. Coyle not able to profit there. Arneson, who's uh, actually been much maligned by the board. Uh, Cissé there uh, getting the ball from Lynch and sticking it away in the top bin. Uh, right, OK. Five minutes to go. Well, I'm not going to change a thing. You boys carry on. Let's see what we can do. We've got a few minutes left before we slip into uh, extra time here at the Lancashire FA County Ground. And we do have a couple of, uh, we will have a couple of substitutions in hand, I would have thought. Uh, definitely one, uh, the added bonus. And there is the sucker punch, Sam Nomi. Uh, after, uh, after the final whistle should have gone, maybe? It is a minimum of four minutes, I know. Right, at this stage, we tick over to 94 minutes. It's not even in the box, is it? Ted can. Oh, he will not consider that uh, a proud moment. 
as uh, the final whistle is about to blow. Stockport County win 4-3 against Leyland Albion, but I am properly proud of my boys. They put up a hell of a fight there. Uh, Cissé's goal, certainly a, a highlight for us. There we go. Let's turn that around into green. Good performance. Uh, we are out of the FA Cup, though. That's the end result. So the first round of the FA Cup, and we take an early dive. Will not participate any further in the Emirates competition. And that means for the first time, we have lost a game this season. Sad, but that's how it goes. Don't expect to win everything. I mean, we're never going to win the FA Cup, are we? I mean, imagine the teams that we could have played. Uh, but Stockport being a former League Two side just last season, um, I think that's a pretty credible result. Uh, combined with that one against Darlington, uh, the Vanarama National North side last week, uh, where we just about, we held in the game for long periods. It was nil-nil uh, right up until 90 minutes. As soon as we got into extra time, um, our quality told, I, I have to say, uh, three goals uh, unanswered in the 30 minutes of added time. Uh, certainly something to be uh, quite proud of. The goal for this season, as always, is to get promoted. If we do that, that will be our fourth promotion on the spin. Um, not entirely confident about it, to be honest, because we are only, as it stands, I think it's three points clear. Uh, we do have a game in hand over our nearest opposition, but um, it's not doing us. Uh, much favours being in so many cup competitions and doing well in them as well. Uh, we are progressing and we've got good ties to come where uh, we should really be uh, carrying on and getting ourselves further uh, into the likes of the Velocity Trophy, which is a new one this season. And I always like to win new trophies. Uh, we always, uh, I want to see those, uh, those little icons uh, appear in our a trophy cabinet uh, over at uh, Leyland Albion. We're still in the FA Trophy and uh, indeed the FA Vars, I believe, as well. So lots to look forward to uh, in the coming weeks. Uh, my style of play, I have to say, has changed uh, this season with Football Manager 21. I play a few games each night, uh, just three or four, uh, just to progress us on. Um, it doesn't feel like um, overbearing, doesn't feel like I'm doing too much because what I used to do was uh, kind of a, I was a binge player. Is that a term? Probably not, to be honest. Uh, but I would kind of spend all weekend just uh, solidly playing for hours on end, and in in the end, it sort of put me off uh, playing football manager a bit because you just think, well, that's like the whole weekend taken up. But by playing sort of 30 minutes, 45, maybe an hour um, at night, it's much more manageable um, and just kind of stretches things out over the week. We are awaiting the media reaction here. Um, it seems there is no shortage of that, as this has gone on for quite some time. One of the problems with <laughs> playing in the FA Cup is the sheer amount of fixtures. Um, this always seems to happen uh, in the FA Cup is that there's so many games being played at once that uh, my laptop just seems not to like it and just doesn't seem uh, to enjoy what's happening. We are, of course, uh, at this level still involved in transfers. We've got another couple of players in on trials. Uh, we do seem to do this basically every week uh, as the scouting report comes in. Is it every other week? Uh, one of the two. And we do look at new players, and if they're any good, yeah, uh, we bring them in. A uh, bit of reaction from the fans here. Colin Buchanan, sick to his stomach after that. Nothing worse conceding a, later, conceding a late winner. I mean, he's not wrong, is he? Yeah, Lily Hayward, really uh, pleased. People who don't like football should be forced to watch that match, and they might change their minds. There you go. We deserve better, says Kane Coggins. Uh, but Aaron Cooper, we can have no complaints, really. So uh, good luck to Stockport as they progress on to uh, the next round. Uh, yeah, 
uh, Sam Nome clinching the winner on 95 minutes. Uh, so disappointing that we didn't quite keep our uh, concentration right through to those dying seconds. Uh, but a good result nonetheless, uh, because three goals to four uh, against Stockport County is nothing uh, to turn your nose up at. Uh, certainly not considering that we are a level seven side. Uh, down in the uh, pitching in Southern Premier South, I think that's the league that we're in, uh, in front of also, I should say, 3,000 fans uh, at the Lancashire FA County Ground, which will be uh, a new record for us and give us some uh, much needed uh, income. There has been talk of a bit of a takeover happening, but our chairman, Vic, uh, he is uh, not interested, it seems, he seems to come out every other week to say uh, that's not going to happen. I have been approached again for new jobs. Uh, I mentioned Cambridge United came in following Monday's episode. And um, I also had a job offer, uh, sorry, an offer of an interview from MK Dons. Uh, and actually, I took the interview just to see what was going on. Uh, but I haven't heard anything back. I suspect I'm not in the running anyway. Um, but it's always nice to be linked to jobs in league football. Uh, MK Don's in League One, so it would be a big step up for me. Not interested at all, we're sticking with Leyland Albion all the way, but it is nice uh, just for other teams to be recognising our achievements. Uh, I was also odds on favourite for the Blackpool job, um, which was a bit strange. Um, both Preston and Blackpool were after new managers, and I was on the list at uh, the uh, Tangerines. I never came to anything, they never approached me. Uh, but uh, it's always good to see when you click on that, I think it's the job centre or job security tab uh, and you can see your name listed um, as uh, the odds on favourite. That's all we have time for today. Uh, thank you for joining me. Uh, Leila Albion crash out of the FA Cup at the first round stage, uh, but um, we take a bit of pride from this one. A 3-4-3 a defeat uh, to Stockport County. I'll see you on Monday uh, for more Sunday League to Legend.